this is what I get to do this morning. First of all, I can't sleep. Well, I did. I actually did sleep because I took this stuff that made me go to sleep. Damn, I slept like a baby, too. But I ended up getting up early because I can't let the fire go out on my pinto beans. And the damn birds, y'all hear them? Hold up. The birds woke me up. <laughs> so anyway, I don't want the fire to go out on the beans. And it is so... That's my she shed, y'all. That's where I've been quarantined at. <laughs> I've been quarantined in the she shed. Since I have to, since we have to be quarantined, then I might as well be doing something creative. Victor and his soccer stuff. I was going to show you all the fog on the creek. It's very, very foggy out. It's kind of cold, too. And I smell like campfire at this point. Good thing I haven't washed my hair yet. Because I'll be smelling like campfire all day when I cook these beans. Outside, because we don't cook them on a... We don't cook beans on a... On the stove like some people do. All the beans are cooked outside every Sunday. Morning. Like clockwork. You can tell a boat's been out here already. I'm getting ready to show you all the ripples. My feet are getting all wet. I didn't realize the grass was that wet either. Whew, cold feet. I don't see the boat though. I'll go over here. It's pretty, isn't it? Wanted to share it. Daffodils. I know there's a boat somewhere. See? Daffodils. All right, let's go over here. Hear that osprey already? Oh, look, there it is. Oops, I scared them. I didn't realize they were there. See the other one? I, I honestly didn't realize they were there. I would have not come up like that. Because I didn't want to. That's one of their perching spots. Pretty. But anyway, the birds is what woke me up this morning. Damn birds. I mean, I like birds, don't get me wrong, but gosh, why do they have to be up so early? You would think that they would be up this early, like, three. I mean, I was hearing them last night after nine o'clock along with that sonic boom that we kept getting. I felt like I was living back near Fort Stewart, Georgia, where they practiced their artillery every night and everything would shake. But you kind of got adjusted to that. It's unusual to have sonic booms. I'm just that's what I'm gonna call it. Shook the whole ground in my in my she shed. Look at that fog. Somebody was kayaking already. Where'd they go? Oh, they're there way over there. Kayaking on the river. Not. But look at that. It's so thick you can't even see down there. But isn't it gorgeous? Oh, she flew away too. Dang it, and I missed that. That wasn't very smart. But anyway, I just wanted to um, do a quick live so that y'all could see the fog on this creek bed this morning. We call it the river. People people are like, why is it, why is it called that? That's just what they call it. But it's pretty. Hope everybody's staying safe. My biggest concern is seeing tourists start to come into town. That's a concern for me. I ain't trying to be selfish, but that's a concern. It bothers me that I'm starting to see that pick up here. Not to hurt people's businesses or anything like that, but we don't need campers here either right now. And I don't think they're, I don't, I think it's closed, but I'm still seeing campers. So that bothers me. 
one of our local sto store owners. I won't put the store out there. Almost got, well, they did. They got mobbed by people coming from another county to get toilet paper. Somebody must have alerted that they were putting it out, and they almost got beaten up over toilet paper. People are just ridiculous. Can you imagine? Beating up, almost hurt over rolls of toilet paper. From Northumberland County. I'll name the county. Sad people from there came over here to try to do something like that. But anyway, fog is beautiful. You're welcome. Look, there's, well, that's a seagull. We do have those, too. They're, um, see those sailboats over there? If you go beyond the sailboats, like over to the marina, there's like a pylon of rocks. And that's where all the seagulls are at. Oh, look, it came back. so pretty they've actually they've never like come back like that when I come out they normally stay you know over there but isn't that cool I've never been that clo close to one and that's close to me Here, here's a little noise now y'all I'll be honest with you that noise can be annoying to me sometimes <laughs> Because it's such a high-pitched squilch. <laughs> it's such a high-pitched squilch that they make that it does get on my nerves on occasion. I'll just, I'm being very honest. Look, there's that seagull again. I wish I could get, like, what I can see and what y'all can see, of course y'all know, are two different things. That actually looked like a, no, that is a seagull. Okay. Good morning. Yeah, things are just, it's just crazy. Hope I'm not making anybody seasick by constantly moving around. I didn't realize that osprey had came in back behind me, to be honest with you, until I heard the little squilch. Hopefully it don't attack me. <laughs> One day the, this um, lady was walking on this bridge here, and that osprey nest is over there. And those osprey, because she, for some reason, I don't know why she found it necessary to go on the opposite side of the bridge, because on our bridge you can walk the bridge, but on the other side you can't. And for some reason, she found it necessary to go on that side. You know them osprey tried to go on top of her head? <laughs> I thought it was just the funniest thing that they tried to do that. But she shouldn't have been near their nest either. Anyway, here's the daffies. Critties, because they're going to die off soon. You know, they'll croak soon, and then we won't have pretty daffodils, and then it'll be like a stream of yucky flowers <laughs> that are dead. There's another osprey. I just don't know, know where he went, or she went. Good morning. Hope you're staying safe and that you slept better. And I slept like a baby once I popped that little can't always tongue tie the pill I took yesterday. I mean, it's healthy for you because I don't take no shit products. But I was knocked out like a daggone light bulb. Like nothing woke me up. Nothing. The only thing that woke me up was them birds chirping this morning. So I was up at oh dark 30. But I can't let this fire go out. Because see, I work smarter, not, you know, harder. I have a bike pump that I use to keep my fire going so when it goes out... I'll take the bike pump and pump the air to keep the oxygen going in that fire because, you know, we're making pinto beans. The kids and I love pinto beans, and so we're um, doing that, but my bike pump broke, and Jerry is not going nowhere to go get any damn bike pump. If anybody has one I could borrow, that would be nice. I am not going anywhere to go get a bike pump right now. So I can't let the fire go out because I'm not going to be sitting over here trying to blow air to try to keep this fire going. So I have to constantly check on the beans and check on the fire to make sure everything is uh, staying where it's supposed to be. 
might throw some steak on there. Oh, good. I'm glad you slept well. I did yesterday. I'm telling you, I forgot I had that stuff. I was like, oh, let me just go ahead and take this. And I sure did. I mean, nothing bothered my sleep. Nothing. I didn't, even, I didn't even so much as have to get up to go to the bathroom. There was no interrupted sleep by spirits or nothing. I was happy. No interruptions. No, Jerry, you know, when they call my name to get up. None of that. If they did, I didn't hear it. <laughs> so I was thankful. But I like I like sharing this stuff with y'all. It's too bad that it's not like sunny out. It's very foggy. But the fog is pretty too. Can you imagine if it was nighttime? It'd be creepy. <laughs> y'all remember the movie The Fog? <laughs> that osprey is still sitting there, y'all. That would be a pretty picture. I'm going to have to take a picture of that. just beautiful so I figured that I would share since I get to get up and walk down here to see it every day I'll try to do more lives and not bore people to death I do have um, Robert Nicholson coming on to my vibe time with Jerry on Tuesday night at 8 30 some people said that they were having problems getting on that. It's, it's just a matter of either clicking on the link that I post or calling in the phone number that is listed on there because you're muted. Anyway, but anyway, Robert Nicholson is a scientist and he is going to be talking about um, quantum physics and how it relates to like energy in our energy field so it's going to be a very interesting i'm going to I think i'll take it at a distance um he's going to be talking about that and so it's going to be interesting i actually have lineups for my show all the way until june so i'm really happy with that look y'all ready she don't like me oh but she'll follow me everywhere right don't fall down the hill what do you think? You're going to go get a bird? She, um, she like totally ignores me. She uses me for food purposes. Watch. Nope. Don't you roll down there because I'm not going to go down there and get you. You better not. Go over there. Meow, meow. Oop. Knock back up this way. She doesn't like me. Like, she won't let me really pet her at all. The only one she'll let really sit next to her is Vicente. Like, Vicente can sit next to her. He can pet her. She won't let us touch her. Look, she thinks she's going to get this. Look, can you imagine? Misty. Meow, meow. Hey. Psst. Misty, don't you go down there because I'm not going to save you. Come on. Roll, roll down the bank. I can't help you, cat. <laughs> She'll just have to stay rolled down the hill. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a picture at that off to a distance. Look, and get one of Meow Meow too. But unfortunately, like my old phone, I was able to take pictures. I would be able to take pictures at the same time and for this with this one I can't for some reason it doesn't allow me to do that I don't even think I can so much as like close this out to go take the picture so look it's misty and daffodils she's trying to stalk I don't know what but I think that's hilarious personally all right I'm going to I am I'm going to get off of my Facebook so I can at least get some pictures before the fog lifts because it's starting to lift slightly and then I might be able to get a picture of Caddy here and her daffodils. So I appreciate y'all watch, watching. I got to go check on my fire too to make sure that didn't go out. And I hope that y'all have a good day and be safe. I want to get a picture of that osprey too. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks.